Hello everyone, this is Lucy from Seaside Tarot Channel and I'm here today to open up an, a Kickstarter oracle that came in at the beginning of the month. Uh, this video is a is dedicated to a friend called Alicia and she asked me to do a walkthrough of this deck open and walk through the cards of this deck. So that's what I shall endeavor to do. This deck is called The Wisdom of the Divine Feminine, an oracle for heart-centered embodiment and wholeness. The artist and workshop facilitator is Jenny Han, who creates the inward journey and inspired wisdom through her heartfelt paintings. The author of the guidebook is priestess and energy alchemist Jessica Ricchetti, who weaves sacred transmissions inviting deep inner reflection. The oracle itself is a timeless, eternal, infinite essence that lies within each of us. The 44 card deck book set offers a pathway to embody a greater sense of freedom, deepen into ease, apply joy, and live life guided by the heart. So with that said, let's go ahead and open this deck. Ooh. It's in a nice hard box flip top. One of my favourites, is it? Yes, it's a flip top box. Isn't that good? I like these boxes. I'll just move my tea out of the way. So, welcome dear one. Within your lives, a boundless potential to support the greatest expression of your desires. With an open heart and trust in your path it is time to more deeply embrace your beautiful wholeness and fully embody the wisdom of the divine feminine i don't have too many divine feminine decks so this is a first I do have um goddess decks so i suppose that's divine feminine and i i um designed a goddess challenge back in February so this would have been good for that if I'd had it so the card stock is matte the cards aren't too big so you can shuffle I shall be able to shuffle them it's got gilded edges that nice gold mat that nice gold mat and the box is nice and solid so a lot of thought went into the presentation of this deck so I'll just pop that to one side the, the guidebook itself will come back to it I think so it looks like it has two pages for each of the cuts so we'll come back to that when we've looked at the cards. So I won't talk while I'm flipping through, except if there's something special I want to point out. Oh, let just get some. Yep, so wholeness. Wellspring. Oh, that's pretty. Visions. Trust. That's nice too. Transformation. Sovereignty. Sacred Union. Ripeness. Looks like an Aboriginal painting. 
receiving rawness radiance presence so there's diversity in the deck pleasure passion nurture nature mystery love life force oh look at that that's joyful joy another aboriginal looking card intuition introspection humility harmony Grounding, freedom, flow, fierceness, expression, encouragement, embody, ease, discernment, devotion, cycles, creation, Compassion, community, collaboration. Well, that's nice. Blossoming, beauty, allies. And the, they're the backs. Looking into the universe. So, let's see. I've got sore thumbs today. Let's see if I can... I, I can't riff or shuffle because my thumbs don't work too well these days. So I'll just do this. Which it works just as well. So I'll pull a card and read from the guidebook. So the card stocks that mat. Can you hear it? That nice mat sound. And it's not too big so I can shuffle with my hands. So, let's see. So what does the oracle want to tell me today? Let's have a look at the book. Page 34. So I'm not sure if it has a system. So each of the cards are uh, archetypical essence and energy related to the wisdom of the Divine Feminine. 34. Allies. Art. Voice. I create, so it's got an affirmation, I create space to hear messages from my allies. I use my voice to stand in reciprocity with my allies. Whispering in the wind, songs of the unseen, ripples of word and sound, communion, voice, truth, kinship, allyship, the call from between the veils, familiars, companions, guides, 
supporting and receiving support, sharing and listening. So they're the key words for this card. Being in relationship with you, our allies teaches us sacred reciprocacy. When we create the time to slow down and honor the natural world around us, the animals, plants, stones, water, tree, wind and sky, we notice that we receive deeply in return. They may begin to share wisdom with us when we express our intent to be in allyship. Allyship, allyship. Either in action or words. Perhaps you have seen an ally like a turtle, a certain tree. I do love my trees. I hug trees when I need energy to push on. Hummingbirds, ferns, etc. At some point along your path and felt inspired or in supported by your their presence. Our allies may be human or other than human, seen or unseen. Reciprocacy with our allies is also about doing our part to give as much as or more than we receive. Divine messages flow constantly from guides, ourselves and collective energy, our relationship and from nature. So from our relationships and from nature. It is important to tune into the messages from those that we have allyships. Al ally. ally. <laughs> Tongue twister. I, um, I listen to the birds. The birds tell me stories. So uh, they give, bring messages. So they're mine and the trees and the sea and the whales. To both listen and share, it is also important to tune into the vast web of allies that we have by our side, as well as those we stand alongside and support in allyship. Consider ways to take action and speak your voice in allyship with others. Listen to the wisdom from the allies in your life. Ask your allies what they need, receive new insight from them and share mutually. Let your allies know you are listening. So that also means my spirit guides. I need to pay more attention to what they say to me. I get very, um, um, I, I, I forget to listen, in other words. So contemplation, so it gives you questions. What allies have shown up along my path by my side? How can I stand in deeper allyship with beings I care about? How can I listen more deeply to the wisdom of my allies? So I would use that as a spread. I would get my favorite tarot out and start answering those questions from the, from the cards. Ritual, step outside right now, wherever you are, and close your eyes and bring your awareness to a favorite place. Receive a full inhale. Soften your body on the exhale. We learn that in yoga. Relax your jaw to open your inner ear for deepened intuitive listening. Create energetic space to receive insight from an ally by saying out loud some variation of I open to receive insight from a benevolent ally who comes with intent for the highest good. Take a couple of moments in silence to allow yourself to open and possibly receive insight from new ally from a new ally and one you've already know about by hearing, seeing, feeling, and sensing. So clear audience, clear essence, clear, um, the clear sentient. I forget what clear, the visual one. Clairvoyant, clairvoyant. So clear, clear 
audient, clairvoyant, clair essence, clair sentient. Notice what you notice. So that's our card from the. We all need to pay attention to what's around us and what's being told. Listen to the birds, and because they'll come and bring you messages as well. So with that, I shall say goodbye until next time. God bless.